My wife and I have been using Marquis by Goldman Sachs for the last year, if not a little more. So in this video, I want to walk you through an honest review. We're going to go over the pros, cons. And this whole journey started when we were shopping for high yield savings account. We had just finished paying off our debt. We got out of $215,000. And as you can expect, when you get out of that much debt, at this point, we had additional disposable income to finally start building a nest egg. And at the time that we signed up with Marcus, the APY was 1.1%. And keep in mind, we had gone through a lot of research and we analyzed a bunch of organizations, a bunch of banks, online savings accounts, and this was one of the highest, if not the highest one that we found. Now, let's back up a minute here before I give you all the details and our experience about Goldman Sachs. Why do we need a high yield savings account? And there's a couple of reasons why it's a good idea to have your money, your additional money in a high yield savings account. Number one is all obviously because you want a high interest rate. Uh, for example, right now, the average, the national average is 0.39% APY. And that's fairly low if you compare it to Marcus currently, which is up 4.15%. So it allows you to make more money than you would otherwise if you just let your money sitting in a regular bank's savings account. Now, the second reason why a high yield savings account is a good idea is for inflation protection. And I say quote protection in quotes because it's, it depends on how high inflation goes. A couple of months ago, inflation was about 8%, if I'm not mistaken. So at that point, a high yield savings account uh, doesn't do much per se, but it still helps. The other reason why a high yield savings account is a good idea it's because of savings for emerging fund for security of your money. You don't want to have it just doing sitting nothing in a checking account. You don't want to have it under your mattress like my parents used to do back in the day. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, mom, dad. <laughs> All right. So now let's go over the general features of Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And as I mentioned previously, the current rate is at 4.15% APY as of June 2023. And a couple of really good things about it is that it's FDIC insured up to $250,000, which means that if you if something happens to your money and you have less than $250,000, then you would be quote unquote reimbursed. Like you would be giving your money back after 250K. Now, another feature that Marcus at Goldman Sachs has is only available online. Now, depending on how you look at things, if you like to interact with people, go to the branch and make friends locally, then this may not be a viable option. Uh, this could be a con, depending on how you look at it. Now, a really good feature that I personally like is the send day transfer of $100,000 or less. Not that I transfer $100,000 every day, but in case of an emergency, if you need your money right away, then you can certainly uh, access it. My personal experience with other banks in the past, I used to have Ally, and back in the day, it used to take three days, at least three or four days to transfer your money. And if you need it for an emergency, this could be a con and a disadvantage. Now, the other thing with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, you need another account because they don't, as far as, as, as of the latest information, they don't have a checking account that you can open online at Marcus by Goldman Sachs. And so you have to have an external bank, whether it's a credit union, whether it's Bank of America, whatever the bank that you have is, then you have to have another an external account to transfer money and use your Marcus by Goldman Sachs high yield savings account. Now, the really good things about it, another two great, great features is the no minimum deposits, no maintenance fees, and 24 hour customer service. So generally speaking, those are the the good things and why I want to say, especially when we look at number five and seven, these items are not in order of importance or prioritization prior, <laughs> or prioritize. But I want to say that no minimum deposit, you can start with a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, and it's a great, great deal because you are getting a high return on your savings account. I don't know about you, but I'm happy if when a bank doesn't take my money every single month, especially if you have maintenance fees and the maintenance fees is higher than interest, then at that point, it doesn't make sense, right? Like you're losing money in your savings account. 
All right, so now let's go over a little bit over the pros and cons and just put everything and wrap it all and put it into perspective. And a couple of the pros, some things that I somewhat mentioned already, higher than average savings interest rates. Also in the monthly fees, the minimum deposits, and same day transfer up to 100K. Again, this is great in case of an emergency. And also I wanna, uh, another, another pro I wanna mention, something that I haven't heard many other reviews do out there, is the branding. I don't know about you, but I was talking to my wife when we first signed up for this, and I was like, hey, uh, what are the options that we have? Like, who do we wanna go with? And she mentioned, you know, I kinda wanna be part of Goldman Sachs, man. Like, Goldman Sachs, this shit sounds cool. You know, there's a lot of history, there's a lot of branding, a big name in the financial space. But it's like when you buy Nike, as opposed to no brand, uh, no, no brand name uh, running shoes. Now, when it comes to the negatives, let's be a little bit objective here. So no checking accounts, as I mentioned previously, uh, that's a negative because you can't just like do all the paperwork, like just do everything in one place. You need an external source. Also, no cash deposits accepted. Uh, that doesn't bother me, to be honest, but it can be a negative if you're someone that deals with a lot of cash, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, also, uh, no ATM network, so you can just go and withdraw 100, 200, $500 in case of an emergency. You have to just use the app or use the website and transfer money before you, have, you can access your funds. No branches, online only. And now, one really, uh, one, one thing that I personally really enjoy, I have a credit union that uses its app, and mobile checks, mobile check deposits are, in my opinion, very helpful and useful because it saves you a trip to the bank. You don't have to go, you don't have to like sign paper, you don't have to go to the ATM. You just go, sign it on your table, take a picture, boom, send it in. Now, you don't have that with Marcus by Goldman Sachs as of the timing of this review, January, excuse me, June 2023. Now, so why do we choose Marcus? I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek a little earlier. We chose Marcus because obviously of the high interest rate. Oh, and by the way, um, here, uh, just to give you a little bit of perspective on the pros and cons, like this right here, I mean, if you're not taking my money and you're giving them a high, higher than average interest rate, that to me, it's, already good enough like don't don't charge me for using your services and give me a high interest high return on my on my money i'm good i don't care if you don't have an atm i don't care if you don't allow me to have cash <laughs> no mobile check deposits i'll deal with that so i just want to put things into perspective because this leads me into why we chose marcus by goldman sachs high interest rate we talked about that already, higher than average, no minimum deposit, no monthly fees, and the branding. That's really the, the reasons why we chose it at the end of the day. We were debating between using this organization and Ally, that was the other, comp that was a competition, which is very similar competitive interest rates, but we just went with this because mainly because of the branding. Number two, have we made any money? Yes, uh, it's not as good as investing as putting your money in the market, but it definitely helps. Now, one of the things after doing our research and whether we were thinking about putting our money in mutual funds and we were thinking, okay, once we get out of debt, we could put it in a high yield savings account, we were looking into which one would be best. Because of the timeline, and we knew that we would need the money between three, four, less than five years, then we decided to use a high yield savings account. Many of the resources out there suggest if you want to invest your money and put it in an account that it, it's going to, and you're not gonna touch it for more than five years, then that's a good time for put it in the market to at least make a little bit of return on that money. But because of the timeline, we chose to go with a high yield savings account. Now, do we recommend it? Do I recommend it? Absolutely, yes. High interest, easy to use, FDIC insured after 250,000, quick transfer, no minimum deposit, no maintenance fees. It's really wild if you think about it. There's like so many upsides and very little. The, the, the negatives, the cons really don't outweigh all the positives that this high yield savings account offers. In fact, even CNBC rated it best for no fees, Marcus by Goldman Sachs. This is a screenshot that I took yesterday. Now, if you are interested in opening a, a savings account with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, there's a link in the description that you can check out. You will earn an additional 1%. That's a lot, 1%, especially if we go to 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Hey, I'm just saying. So right now, if you think about it, it will be 5.15% APY for three months. Free money for three months if you think about it. And, if, and hey, 
I like free money. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. My name is Alex Cicero. I help professionals like yourselves crush debt, become confident, and build the life that you deserve. Peace.